Good luck. All looks good with regard to the stream layout. Per okay, good. Their interface has successfully connected, I take it. All right. So they typically play static Rick Joseki. I've quite often played um well let's see. Quite often played fourth file rook. I'm not feeling it right now. I feel like I do need to do more study of fourth file. So I want to try this instead. I think what I've not counted on is that I've just walked into a potential uh, Ishida versus central file situation, which I think theory says favors Ishida, but my opponent doesn't play that. So, um, I think we survive. You know, my opponent typically plays um, just fourth five, or they play static rook, although they have not indicated it yet here. Um, okay, we're gonna expose my bishop on this long diagonal of the board and see um <laughs> well the idea of pushing this pawn is typically to close the diagonal which is not yet necessary i'm a bit confused my opponent at least the interface here says that they play static rook joseki. This is not your typical static rook joseki. So, what do we do? If I just ignore the silver, it steps up one, and then I have to like push this pawn. That's really not what I want to do right now. Um, otherwise, like if they push, if I move my silver, they push up here. I don't have a way to defend this. No, I can push it forward and the silver just keeps climbing forward even more. So yeah, I think this, despite being really counterintuitive, um, I would love to keep this possibility of opening the diagonal at any moment, but also I would need to free my rook, and I don't like the idea of the silver climbing across and striking my bishop's head, so we're gonna play this, try to slow things down a little bit, and try to pick a castle. Huh. This is pretty similar to something Destiny recently tried against me where he pushed both of these uh, sixth and fourth file pawns and moved up both silvers. Uh, it allows him to flexibly choose when to swing the rook, unless I do something crazy, which I did. Um, so I'm going to castle my king to the right a bit, and also strongly consider pushing this edge pawn. I think maybe they were wondering where my king was going. But now I think we figured out where both kings are going. But if the king's going, if he's moving his king to my right, uh, but not building the boat, what is he doing? I'm not sure. Um... So we're going to bring the silver out. Okay. I am so confused again. 
So if I, I don't really want to bring my rook up to defend the bishop's head, but it might be effective. Hmm. Oh no, the bishop can take care of this itself. Bishop's going to be fine. So... I still should castle before doing anything too aggressive. I don't like the idea of leaving the rook blocked for too long. Um, so the weakness of pushing this forward is that it can no longer dive all the way to the left or all the way to the right. I've given up a couple possibilities here uh, to allow my silver to respond in a more timely manner to threats. Oh. Well, speaking of threats, there's a threat. Okay, what do I do about that? So he wants to move the rook over and then hit this. Or maybe he wants to move the rook over here. I don't know. It's not really clear what the threat is. Another threat is maybe they just push the center pawn. So that's exciting. Um, I should just castle, unless I have some strong reply to what they're doing. What are they doing? Like, if they push, if I take silver takes, I've given up the center, I could just pawn drop again. They have a pawn in hand, and I don't. But my pawn in silver, I don't know. I really don't know. I guess we're going to find out what the threat is, because I just can't see it. All right. Um, do I build Mino yet again? Or do I just, like, if I commit to Anaguma, this gold still has to stay on the left side of the board to defend against nonsense when this bishop line opens. Or does it? I'm not sure. I've got time to build Anaguma. And I really don't see what else to do. Let's do it. I might regret this later. So based on where their rook and bishop aim, that determines where this gold needs to be. Um,
So now they've obstructed this diagonal. This knight could support some sort of attack, not just against the king, but like prevents me from pushing this pawn to open the diagonal. Um, prevents is a strong word. Hmm. I'm just concerned if I move this gold away, they move the bishop over here. What have I achieved? <sighs> so, my rook is flexible. I guess we're going to park the bishop here, because I don't see anything better to do. I am... this move severely confuses me. I must have missed something. And here comes the Hanaguma rapid attack, right? Which is never a thing, but let's pretend it is. So if I take this pawn, eventually pawns get exchanged and they get to take my knight. So I want to finish building my castle before I do anything too rash. Um, so let's bring this gold over and complete the castle now that we've provoked an all-out war over here. Um, <laughs> I'm curious if they will exchange pawns. Because then we could have a similar idea to what happened last teaching ladder game. And what happened in that game was that pawn dropped on the knight's head and promoted, and then my token came back and started threatening stuff. We could see a repeat of that. Even though it was, like, super slow. Um, and even though all these pawns look scary, I really don't see his immediate threat. The rook certainly makes this attack look scarier. Um, yeah, I don't like how that rook just swings across the rank so effectively. That's quite disturbing. So this is their way of obtaining a pawn exchange. Maybe now? My rook admits defeat on the center file, and I play opposing rook and try to promote against this knight here, which is undefended. I don't know. Oh, if I move my rook, then they do this pawn exchange, and my silver is unsupported. That's a problem. Okay. So what do we do about that problem? What do we do indeed?
In some ways, the silver is kind of in my way. So if I take here and then I push this pawn and come up with some way to exchange stuff on this file. Um, That'd be nice. That's a pipe dream. I mean, I could just harden my castle for a turn, right? doesn't even help anything, except my mood. That is such a wasted move, but I couldn't find anything constructive to do. This doesn't look that constructive to me. So they vacate the back rank just in case my rook wants to traipse in and start making threats. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess this is kind of not an entirely wasted move because if this diagonal opens and somehow their bishop hits my lance, it's one move slower hitting. Also, I'm vaguely thinking of putting my rook behind the lance, which seems very slow, but what else am I going to do? We've reached a standoff. I think they realize that I'm never going to take anything. So they're starting to call my bluff. Um, now this blocks the rook. We can't uh, just ignore the fact that that blocks the rook. I think they intend to move the knight and then push this pawn, but now the pawn push is delayed by my silver attacking this square. Also, maybe I'm considering pushing this pawn. I don't know why, other than just a vague need to do something. I actually like the pawn quite a bit. It and the silver next to it work well together. It's just, I need something to do. So one thing I could do is move my knight and sack it for two pawns. Just to try to do something, but... I need to activate my rook. So another idea is I swing the rook over here and try to open the file on the knight. And when he does something to try to stop me, um, like moving the knight over to the edge, then we open the edge file instead. I guess that's the idea.
So what this all means is that for some opposition to occur, they're just going to try to blast through my 5-5 pawn. They have to move their knight, that's the defensive knight near their king. And I have no idea what happens next, but I think that's their plan. Oh, hang on. So it just occurred to me, I might... Um, so I played silver 4-5. Uh, potentially I might be playing pawn 5-6 if they take rook takes, and then I'm threatening rook 2-6, or 8-6, or whatever, and then rook takes knight. So my rook comes, uh, springs to life almost instantly, and nothing's protecting this rook here. Uh, yeah, no, I accidentally have a good position. So if I push the center pawn, they're not going to take it, because that would give my rook too much activity. And that's if I push it, which, like, again, what's the merit of pushing it? I don't really see a benefit. It pushes where they're strongest, and I'm not. But uh, since I'm playing Anaguma, I want stuff to exchange. But I don't have a way to follow up this push. So possibly what I need to do is push on the third file instead. Okay. Of course, this throws everything out the window. Um, so they are declaring an intent to trap my silver. If I take and I push this, Heck if I know what's going to happen next. Actually, they can't, they can't pawn drop on my silver's head yet, because they don't yet have a pawn. But they're getting it soon. Um, that's a mess. Well, I want stuff to exchange, so I'm going to fall into the trap and see exactly where we end up. I'm not sure if I push here or if I take this pawn. Both look interesting. Yeah, they're pretty immune to a bishop drop, aren't they? I don't like this. What I don't like is that um, if they sack the rook for this bishop, they get a horse pretty quickly thereafter, and I don't have a clear attack. Um, 
What I might end up doing is just bring my horse toward the center pawn and seeing how many things we can liquidate at once. Because their attack isn't as fast as mine. Oh, geez. Well, that's exciting. <sighs> There's the rapid attack. Only slightly provoked. <laughs> Only slightly provoked. All right, so fine. Two can play that game. I've had a previous game where I did something similar to this. It can't be all bad. I had a previous game where eventually I ended up taking on 5-3 and I forget if there was a sack or not. I really, at this point, I don't care. This center thing is in the way of me promoting my rook. We're just going to take all the generals. And that's it's going to be that simple. Just capture all the generals and promote. How hard could it be? Um... I recognize this is a bit crazy, but, um, you know, you have to have a little bit of insanity now and then. So do I pawn drop right here? Uh, he climbs the gold up and there's nothing I can do. Or do we take here? And he pawn drops on my rook's head and I sack for this silver or something crazy. I don't know. Or neither of those, perhaps because they're both dumb ideas. Or we do this, they pawn drop, and I drop the rook all the way back to protect against as many bishop drops as possible. Wait, okay, I thought I was going to promote the rook, because I'm an idiot. Um, that doesn't work here. So what else can I do? I guess we can drop all the way back, as originally suggested. And now we do threaten to take this pawn. So they ignore the threat because a pawn is not worth as much as the entire game. The king is worth a bit more than a pawn, usually. Um... I just feel like I've missed something tremendously epic this game. And I just have no idea where my attack was. I want this rook to be somewhere closer to their king so it can be a target. I was modestly afraid of this. Um, I want to take it right away because I'm pissed, but I should try to think of something constructive to do, too. Uh, 
Yeah, trying to think. Okay, so at least I can bring my rook up to this rank and use it to try to oppose this attack. So there's a constructive thought. Um, is it going to work? No, but that's at least an idea. Not sure what else I can try. Oh, I could rook drop way back here. Now we're talking. <laughs> sure, why not? There's an idea. Um, there's probably a concrete refutation. Because I did not think very long on this move. In fact, if they interpose anything between the rooks, I have to move one rook to hit the bishop, and they could just take the other one. But it looked really exciting when I played it. And that, in the end, is what matters. Okay, that was not expected. That's a tremendously confident move. Wish I could play stuff like that. Um, So if I move my rook away, they just put some pawn on this file, and it's very difficult for me to approach. If I exchange rooks, I'm a tempo faster, but to what good? Um, 30秒. Well, maybe it matters. Maybe it does matter. I do have one move to gain a tempo, but then they're going to do a, another rook. Yeah, so... Um, I just recognize that this is a difficult approach. Of course I line up my rook with where his bishop wants to go. That's not smart. Um, yeah. On the other hand, if they do move the bishop here, maybe I push the pawn anyway. Maybe I drop a silver. I don't know. I really do want to attack straight through the center with these knight and silver. They're just longing to do something. Um, that's kind of hard to do. So yeah, they're supporting the square again. Feels like I'm getting cooked alive on the edge file here, so we're going to put another piece down to try to defend the edge file. Which just coincidentally hits the horse, but... Okay, what? Oh! Right. Rightio, then. Um... I see. What do I do about this? What do I do? I 
<sighs> That's gonna be a weird exchange. This clears way for me to put a pawn where the lance used to be. Because I've made the perfect coffin to surround my king. Alright, this is not check. However, this is a threat mate. I do need to respond to the threat mate. Um, there will continue to be threat mates until these pieces clear out of the way for my king to escape. Ordinarily, you'd want to use the silver because the knight cannot retreat. But here, I think my position's desperate. I'm not interested in a long-term defensive idea. I want a way to win right now. So... do I take the horse? Do I push my knight up a bit? Do I protect? And then pawn takes, pawn takes, and they do another pawn drop. Okay, I'm super blind, so I'm going to do this and get smacked for whatever it is that I missed. But in the off chance that I didn't miss anything, then maybe I have some drop that breaks this Lance's connection with the rest of their attack. Oh, yeah, okay, you're right. This gets you a silver. That's a very good attacking piece at this time. Um, hmm. Okay, I don't have much choice here. Right. So, with these pieces, now the only way I could defend the head of my king is by placing a pawn. Oh! I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Sorry. Good game. Um, yeah, so I had to place my knight there, but I'm still screwed. Uh -oh. Uh, so, 
is an interesting game. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's take a look back through the rest of the game. Um, so this is interesting. I don't know how much he wants me to fix it on the opening. Um, Hmm. Didn't really know what to make of any of this. Lately, I have been playing um, the Central File Rook. Ah. Ah, uh, so we are learning this together. Um. <laughs> I've been uh, playing Central Foul Rook for uh, uh, recently. And like uh, the attacking uh, possibilities uh, with like this, 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 um, something like that. Um, but also it's pretty complex, so maybe I don't completely know it at this time. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my games uh, with it have been that way. Either um, I get a strong attack, or I get mated. So yeah, that's pretty nuts. Um, so let me think. Um, I think there are multiple ways to play against it. Um, let's see. Um, so like this could move here or here or something and Usually I play this sort of thing. Um, yeah. That's fine. Um, um, so anyway, let's get beyond the opening. Which we both had some exciting moments in. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So you're protecting this square. Ah, do, 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 do. So, yeah. This did make it harder for me to figure out what was going on. And for that, maybe it was actually quite good. Um... So... Let's see, this is not what I did during the game. Um... So, what I was thinking about was... Okay, yeah. Either of the rook moves, really. Oh, that actually traps the rook, doesn't it? Ah. 
but I guess what I was looking at was maybe, and this is kind of unusual. Uh, this confused me. Like, how do I exploit this? Oh, knight three three. Oh, good point. All right. So the other thing I thought about was now you get this threat too. Maybe. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, this is interesting. So wait. What about this then? I'm always paranoid about stuff over here just ruining my day. But uh, here I might have a legitimate concern. Um, oh, I see. I bungled the move order, didn't I? Oh, wow. Okay. That makes sense. So, yes, I should have advanced uh, my bishop without fear of a uh, counterattack. Because, yeah, my attack is too powerful here. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I guess I need to show a little more confidence even when I'm like stumped. Not too much, but a little. That's a really good observation. Uh, so I guess we'll go back. So yeah, I didn't see that. I just allowed him to continue doing his thing because I was stumped. Eventually I did do this, um, but now he could move the rook over. Yeah. I forgot to activate my rook. I should probably have done, I don't know, something like this and just try to, I don't know. I was so afraid. Oh, let's see, knight eight five. Yeah, that did look interesting. I admit. Yeah, so, like, what exactly does he do against this? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, this here. Yeah, that's knight eight five. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure what I can do about this. 
Uh, bishop nine three is not good. Oh right, then I can open uh, the diagonal or something. Yeah, this whole thing. Uh, um. Uh, yes. Uh, knight five is common. Um, I wonder, like, here, can I get away with this? I have much to learn. Um, I'm not sure if it quite works in that position. I think you need more pieces to support it. have to have a severe counterattack. Uh oh. Um I suppose. Is there a severe counterattack? I mean, I feel under pressure, that's for sure, but um, I'm not sure that severe is the right word to describe this. It is scary. Like, I don't like having this edge file open against my king, but well, given how slow pieces are exchanging, yeah... I think I'm okay. Yeah, knight at five during the actual game was pretty strong, but here, um, here it might not work so well. Um, And I just dawdled too much, because I couldn't figure out what I was doing. And that's kind of Anaguma's dilemma, is that just finding an attack is hard. Hmm. Maybe here I needed to do something like... I don't know. This, this is strong. Um, I completely missed that the rook was entering. And when, I, when he finally opened it, it was just too late. Like, with both the king and the knight here, you would think my reaction would be, of course I have to open this file. Yeah, but I missed it. Yeah. So, yeah, I completely whiffed on that. Yeah. Oh, thank... well. Yeah. Although... 
That's true, although my attack is slow and confused. But, yes, uh, but yes, right now I do like my position somewhat. Um, uh, but yeah, this. Um, yeah, I just invited, like, the most severe attack ever, and I am not optimistic that I can defend this against anyone. Um, so, yeah, I just completed my castle. I made a random lance move, random silver move, so this caught me off guard a little bit, but, like, I'm not even sure it matters. Um, this was certainly a confusing point for me. I mean, what point in this game for me wasn't confusing? Let's put it that way. Hmm. Hard for me to find moves for either player. I really can't see. Um... Yeah, this pawn move was confusing, but this, I liked it. Um, yeah, this is nice. Ah, uh, so... Maybe here I had to play something aggressive. I don't know. This is so over my head. I thought I would just move my rook to the end uh, to five nine. Okay, yeah, this actually doesn't surprise me. So, I had other ideas, but I don't like any of them. I wonder what I can try, though. Um, so, like, if I push this over or something, this is kind of awkward. Or maybe this is awkward. I don't know. Like, this is confusing. Um... Okay. Can attack something. Yes, I looked at this a little bit. I mean, I was in time pressure already, but I did try to look at this. And I just couldn't find a next move. Oh! Well, okay, so now we're cooking with gas. Um, there might be some ideas in this position after all.
Okay, that's exciting. I'm not even saying it's good or bad, but my goodness, this is much more interesting than the game. The game continuation just sucked for me, so I'll take anything else at this point. Yeah, presumably. Um... I do wonder, like, so maybe you don't even have to worry about this. Maybe I just... When is this going to get timed, I wonder? Uh. Maybe I'm better for the moment because my bishop is active. Maybe that's the key, but it's just like the tiniest shade of being better if that's all I'm relying on. Um, yeah, so this is kind of where I wanted to go with the attack. Again, I'm not super familiar with either attack or defense and this kind of thing, but that's why we play the games, to try to learn something. Um, I guess we take now. I don't know if it matters whether we promote or not. Then we can drop here, I guess. I don't know. All this stuff is spooky to me. Yeah, you're right. So, like, what the heck? Whenever I try it, it never works. Whenever they try it, it always works. That just shows, like, there's so much experience to gain about this particular situation. But, like, this is their whole attack. This has to work. It always works. Why is it not working this time? <sighs> Seems that edge attack is always so strong, except when I try it. Because, like, I mean, I would ideally like the bishop to somehow play a role in that attack, but it's just not able to get there in time. So what can I do? Uh, this rook does prevent me from, like, just trying to win the knight outright. But, um, yeah. thing. 
Ah, I'm just... My head explodes trying to understand this. Because somehow my heart tells me that, like, clearly... I'm under attack. Uh, for Anaguma, edge attack is good in many cases, so we can neglect uh, two golds. Yeah. Yeah, because the golds can't really protect that square. If anything, they trap my king in. So, so I guess I need to just count the rest of the pieces. So we got one, two, three, and we've got one, two, and maybe the rook. I'm not sure. They do well protecting against attacks uh, from the side, from the side. Yeah. But otherwise, they uh, trap the king. So, I'm really not sure. Yeah, this this game is hard. There's a lot to learn about Anaguma. So, in the game, yeah, I just got overrun. Because uh, I stopped attacking. I guess here, this again, but... Ah... Uh... Oh, hang on. So, I can't just ignore that. Did I ignore it in the game? That's interesting, too. <sighs> Likely I am already worse here. Uh... Rook seven nine problematic. Yeah. So I consider this. Um but it's the same deal. <laughs> Not much I can do. So I thought it was all clever, but no. This is not clever. Uh, I suppose I needed to not panic here. Uh, just play some calm move or something. I don't know. Yeah. Really backfired. 
I got tired of defending, and when I get tired of defending, and I've been in Bioyomi for I can't even count how many moves, I just lash out and attack something. And against uh, Q-level players, that works. Against an opponent who's reading stuff, it does not work very well. Uh... But, like, I've missed so many attacking possibilities, and now I pay the price for it. Hmm. I guess I have to take that, don't I? <sighs> so, yeah, two rooks on the same file are not so good. Usually. And probably here, that's also the case. <sighs> Likely I am still in trouble. In danger. Yeah, because, like, what can I do? There's no escape. I'm just mated. I always find reading this stuff hard. But, yeah, if I'm giving them a tempo and a lot of stuff... Uh, it's true, they can't move it because of mate, but still, like, I'm just asking for trouble here if I'm reading it right. Maybe we need to start with the silver? I don't know. Um... I mean, I see, like, everything getting exchanged here, and then I'm still under attack. Um, I guess this. Ah, uh, how do you do this, I wonder? Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, so in this case, my king does have somewhere to run briefly, but it's not gonna. I'm not optimistic. Um, yeah, it's complicated. Um, I was gonna suggest Nifuing to try to stop the attack. It's not. A very good solution. Uh, a rook drop doesn't accelerate their attack. Well, it complicates things. Um, yeah, I don't see a way for them to amplify this further. That's weird. I guess something like this. Uh, Only capturing the gold was a threat. Uh, this. Uh, take. Uh, I misread this. Um, so. 
Yeah, maybe that's not worth thinking about. Yeah, so true. So true. I guess that's what happens when I play Anaguma. Is that if I survive, it becomes a long game. Long, protracted battle. Although here, like, my silver is gone. Um, and they have really strong defense put up. Who knows? Um... Hmm. Yeah. Um. Uh. Nice uh, attack. Uh, uh, the actual game. Um, wish I knew what else, uh, to suggest. Uh, but, um, uh, well played in this, uh, in this teaching ladder. And welcome aboard. <laughs> if I can spell that. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting to have a player. Um, to be able to face somebody other than Destiny every week. And this also maybe better highlights in this kind of game against a closer opponent, just the stuff that I need to work on more. Um. Yeah, obviously they're a good player. <laughs> Indeed. Likely we'll meet again soon. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Alright. Alright, thanks for game. Have a nice day. Also, thanks for accommodating my funky schedule, as always. Um... I want it to be more predictable, but uh, personal failings, really, on my part have prevented me from being as predictable. All right. Yeah. Personal failings have gotten in my way of being more predictable with regard to my own schedule, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nifu was unfortunate. I mean, at least this will serve as a reminder that when I'm dropping a pawn up here, I can't do it back here, too, no matter how bad this gets. So if my whole plan is to drop a pawn and can't have a pawn up here. And I was planning this pawn drop. I fully intended, like, this is the whole point. And it just does no, no good. So I could try this, but, like, seriously, I'm super hosed here. So, like, whether they drop more pieces or otherwise attack me, this was not any good. But it's also, well, I guess here this is an idea, but still, my position's in an extraordinary world of pain as all of my pieces hang. Um, so, yeah, this is what happens when I use the wrong pieces to defend. And I allow a very strong attack. Uh, clearing the knight only makes sense if I'm going to move the gold over there. But that didn't quite work. But yeah, what a game. Uh, thanks to opponent for the game. Thank you for watching. Take care.